we start with the uh, female gametes. The female gametes in mammals is called, is termed as ovum. And the plural is Wow. Okay, uh, let's try to draw the structure of the female gametes. Right, this is a cell. So it has a cell membrane. This is the cell membrane of the female gametes. And there is a very uh, special structure we can find on this cell. Just out of this uh, cell membrane, there is another structure just like this. So this outside the blue color structure consist of uh, mostly the proteins. And this layer is called Sona Pellucida. This is cell membrane. Again, uh, very close to the cell membrane, we can find uh, a lot of granules-like structures. And this. And they are called cortical granules. Right. Apart from that, we can also find a lot of mitochondria. And we can also find another structure. It's called a lipid droplets. These are lipid droplets. Okay, now what is in the middle? The middle consists of uh, DNA molecules. This consists of a DNA molecule. When this re when the gamete is released from the reproductive system, this gamete is still dividing cell. You know. The gametes are formed by a process called meiosis. So we have learned meiosis. So meiosis says meiosis one and meiosis two. So meiosis one we have divided into propase one, metapase one, anapase one, telopase one. 
Meiosis two. Again, we are dividing into prophase two, metaphase two, anaphase two, telophase two. So this cell is released uh, before it completes its division. And another name given for this cell is oocyte. Just oocyte. Like ovum or oocyte. So this kind of a cell is called secondary oocyte. And another thing is we can also find uh, some of the cells around it. Uh, here you can see the ovum female gametes under a light microscope. So here again we can see the sona pellucida, a cell membrane we can't see clearly and here is the cytoplasm and uh, in the middle uh, we can see aggregation of the DNA chromatin, uh, DNA molecules. So it shows that uh, it is still uh, uh, dividing cells. Okay, uh, before we continue uh, more information, can you copy this down under the female gamete ovum?
Okay, sir. Right. Right, this uh, secondary oocyte, uh, uh, why we call secondary oocyte, uh, it is still dividing cell. Uh, is two. It's not completed, so that's why we call secondary oocyte. And also uh, the surrounding cells, for example, these cells, uh, they are called follicular cell. Uh, follicular cells, and the follicular cells uh, consist, uh, it make a layer, because it's not a one cell, many cells, uh, they make this layer. So the cell is uh, the cell layer is called corona radiata. Uh, when the cells follicular cells make a layer around it, this layer is called corona radiata, right? Uh, so this is still undergoing meiosis, and the cell is a uh, quite large cell. So size is around 100 micrometer. It's a quite large cell. It's a 100 micrometer. And the cell is uh, one of the, another important thing, the, the cell itself cannot move. So it's a uh, immobilized, uh, immobilized. So immobilized sense, it can't move. But how it move, uh, when in the reproductive tract, this tube is called uh, oviduct or fallopian tube. And this is a female reproductive system, just shortly. And uh, this is the ovary. So the cells are producing the ovary. And this the cell is released to the oviduct. Then cell can move through the oviduct because of the movement of the oviduct. So it is moving because of the movement of the oviduct, right? So these are the additional information. Uh, follicular cells around it, names are called follicular cells and it make the a layer called corona radiata, size is 100 micrometer. Uh, cell, uh, how do you say it? It's, uh, we can say it's uh, not motile. The word used for this kind of a cell is called uh, motile. Motile is, it can uh, move. Non motile, it's not moving cell. Yep, yes, these are the additional information. Uh, the main information you copied, the additional information is also sometimes important. Uh, maybe you can add this information, right. Follicular cell, corner radiata, size is 100, still un and then this one. August.
Now the male gametes. Right, mammalian male gametes are called a sperm. Right, sperm, or sometimes called spermatozoa. Frequently we use the word sperm or spermatozoa. Uh, you can see here the cells under light microscope. Right now, if you uh, draw the structure of these cells, so it has a head like this. And then the middle uh, is like this. And again, uh, a big tail-like structure uh, called flagella. Right, here is the uh, nucleus. And this part contains a lot of mitochondria. So we can divide into three region, head, this one is a tail, and this is called midpiece. Then here, there is a small uh, projection. And this projection contain a uh, enzymes, and this structure is called acrosome. So acrosome is filled with enzyme. Acrosome filled with enzyme and this nucleus. Okay, uh, can you copy this as well? Okay. Okay. Right, uh, so these cells are quite smaller than uh, ovum. The sperm cell is uh, very small compared to the ovum. And uh, another thing is uh, the tail, which is also called uh, Flagge, uh, flagella. So this helps to swim. So flagellum is important for swim. Uh, why is that? Before we come to a Fertilization. Now, 
if you take this uh, female reproductive system, the sperm cells enter from uh, this area. So this is the cervix and vagina. And this, when this cell enter, this cell uh, should now move from this place to the uterus and then uh, it should go to the fallopian tube. Now you can see if I draw a line, this cell should move from this place to this. So the tail is important uh, for the movement of sperm cell and then uh, the mitochondria provide energy for the movement of the flagellum. Right. So you can write mitochondria provide energy for the of flagellum. Mitochondria provide energy for the movement of flagellum. And this cell is adapted for the movement in a liquid uh, medium as it has a small uh, tapered head. So it's a fluid, fluid dynamic because the, the shape of the cell head region is tapered and it uh, it get less resistant when it swim because there is a shape. So this shape is really like, like a, this kind of a shape. So this is very important for swimming. Uh, it get less resistant. Uh, can you add the rest of the things? Yes, uh, this added these parts added. Can you see the screen? Yes. So additional things are uh, we said this is flagellum and their mitochondria provide energy for uh, swimming and the head region is important for swimming as it has less resistance. But this is caused. So hydro dynamic head. So what is this hydrodynamic head? Hydrodynamic head is the shape of the head, uh, tapered head. Uh, this is important uh, when it swim in the liquid medium. Uh, the shape reduces the resistance. So this is the shape, right? The shape. Yeah. The shape. Shape.
it's called a uh, tapered. Okay. Tapered. End. The flat shape, elongated shape is called tapered end. And that's important for the hydrodynamic uh, movement in the liquid medium. Right, uh, check your notes now. Yes. Uh, first of all, the The ovum is a large cell. So it's incapable of independent movement. So how it move? Because of oviduct, provide the movement uh, by contraction and the cilia. The cilia and muscular contraction of the tubules helps to move. So cytoplasm has uh, food reserves, lipid droplets and proteins. And out of the cell membrane, there is a jelly-like structure called sona pellucida. Uh, sperm cell, the number one point smaller, the tail of flagellum important for the swimming and mitochondria provide energy. So inside there is a structure called acrosome. Shape, hydrodynamic. So which help to reduce resistance. So before we come to fertilization, uh, I think we stop here for the uh, sperm cells, so we can check other things later when we are learning the fertilization. Okay, so we are going to learn uh, fertilization now. Uh, that is a fer fertilization referred as a fusion of these two cells, fusion of the nuclei of ovum and the sperm. Right. So we write fusion of two nuclei. To form a zygote. So that is a fertilized egg cells, fusion of two nuclei to form zygote. Okay, uh, let's see uh, how it happened now. Fusion of two. Fusion of two nuclei to form zygote. Right, I will uh, explain now how it works.
Right, this is the ovary, and this one is the oviduct, and this is a uterus, and this tract here is called cervix, and this is a vagina. Right now, in fertilization, if the right side uh, ovary release the egg cell ovum. Now this ovum is released from the ovary and this ovum can move into the oviduct because of the movement of these projections. So this projection can catch the ovum then the ovum can move through this uh, oviduct because oviduct has a uh, muscular contraction and cilia. So it comes in the middle of the oviduct. So now it's in the middle. Now from this side, the sperm cell, uh, which can enter. Okay, now when considering the sperm cells, it is not one cell. There are many cells start to enter, millions of cells. So here it's a one ovum. And these are sperm. So sperm cells are millions. So they are moving this direction. Hello? And this one is coming from this direction. Hello? Oi! Right, uh, sperm cells, there are millions, and ovum is a one cell. Uh, 